So guys, good morning. I want to show you how you can install the timber retaining wall on a steel post. We do it in the one side of the house and also we do for the next project in this part. But now we want to finish the first project in the left side and also we install in the side. Then the other one needs to be engineer come and check the holes for it. Not talking about it. The, any retaining wall over one over 600 height, we need the engineering details and inspection to confirm and approve it. So what we did uh, first, we set the line, dig the hole, install the steel post. Is 2.2 120 deep to the ground and one meter on top. And I mark it to not covering. Look, there, there is a mark. We did the marking because when you fill it by the concrete, you should avoid to concrete over the one meter. We are installing the first uh, slipper. And yeah, this is um, every 1.2. We install the post and also we check by the line. The post has an angle. How we install it, we make a level. 150 uh, 15 millimeter from the um, line then we push it to the line because it needs to be has the angle as the engineering details say look again we level it for two direction this direction and that direction 15 mil one and a half centimeter from the line level and then push back to the line because need to be have a slope to the weight in behind it to be as more a stronger. Okay, each hole used um, seven concrete mix bag, and it set yesterday. We have to wait a few days, but in this case, because it's too deep now, we try carefully just fill up the slipper and back of it. And that's a slipper we're using, 75 by 200. I bought. 3 meter, then we can cut for each one. And as I show you, we marked every 20, 200. This is the top one and the other one and going, then we can check where the first one is going there. We connect the AC pipe 100 mil with the sacks to the storm water pipe on the ground. And then we, when we lay the first course, we cover it by the soil and we put the soil to stop the water not um, passing the wall and then lay the ag pipe in the angle, the water coming that way and then going to the pipe, to the stormwater system. It's up to now, but i show you later what we're doing. The next part is we cut the slippers for the um, wall. We did the first course laying the pipe, set it the angle, one, point, uh, one to 100. That's mean every 10 meter, we need one centimeter slope to the drain system. And when we set the first line level under, then we add the aggregate on top of it. And then second line aggregate and the next line aggregate on top of it, we're going on top. And just for the top course, 100 mil, we laying the top uh, soil on top, top garden mix soil on top of the system so guys for first step we make a channel in the first course then we cover a few pebbles to rise up the and level up the pipe we, we close under the first slipper if they have a rain and the water going down it's not going to the backyard turf side just coming through and then going to the drain system. But just we level it and then aggregate, make a slope, and then we lay the pipe, 100 mil pipe on top of it. That's a pipe we're using. Let's show you. It's an ag pipe, 100 millimeter by 20 meter long. And it sucks as well on top of it so that's clean we need more we need more here we 
بریم So next step is setting the pipe As you can see we have a slope from that corner to here And this top pipe is for this retaining wall It's connecting to the stormwater here in the other house And then we fill it up then going step by step course by course to the top So guys, the wall completed, we installed the bracket in the middle by the bolt in the side and then sit all the slippers on top of it. And we fix the corner back of the slipper because this is 100 posts and this is 75. We fix to the side, then fans will install it on top of the retaining wall. A step up and then go straight to the wall. And this drain leave for this retaining wall and then we connect to the other pipe as well in the other side. From the middle we make a slope for both sides. One is coming here, connect to that, it's covered by the aggregate and all level line as you can see and it's have some angle to the pressure side. Okay guys, thank you. See you in the next project.